Hey, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. This is Healing Affirmations for the Soul. This is a book of mine that you can journal in, Knowledge Cafe. You read the um, morning let's turn it. word. You know, it has 30 days of uh, words that you can look at, read, um, paragraph to expound and actually to get the mind working, um, to get the mind working in a transformative perspective to move forward. So here, you can order this from me um, through email, ifwbuilders at gmail, Instagram, inner wealth builders, or I am a woman of power on Facebook. And um, you will incorporate more power to your life. Um, this morning, I was looking at Matthew 5 and 13 through 16, which says, um, you are the salt of the earth. But it says, if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? Is it henceforth good for nothing but to cast out and to be trodden underfoot? And we know that back in uh, the days where food needed to be refrigerated, but for refrigeration wasn't uh, created yet, that Food used to be salted for preservatives. I've heard other people speak um, and say that they don't use salt for health reasons, which is understandable. And some have talked about Sodom and Gomorrah and the pillars of salt. Uh, the pillar of salt is a statue that is presented as a past perspective, right? With um, Sodom and Gomorrah and Lot uh, wife looking back on the past. So salt can be referenced as uh, different connotations, but in that connotation of the past, the reference of the past is the monument that sat there. Now, the salt of the earth brings flavor um, to us, is what Christ is saying. And if you are salted, um, your food even, it tastes better. It's not bland. And that means that you're going to uh, want to eat it more. You know what I'm saying? Because it's going to taste better. That means that an individual who's been salted by God is a word that is just saying that you've been seasoned with something. And most people don't realize that seasoning has to do with an anointing. And when you read five of Matthew, you'll see that everything is about where the anointing is taking place over our lives. Uh, because um, they that mourn shall uh, see Jesus. You know, they shall understand the kingdom. All of these references of five lead into that. And so you are the salt of the earth when you have been seasoned by life. This is the truth. The light shines through you because life has given you an understanding of how to go about things daily without creating um, outside of the realm of what you want to create. Uh, your consequences are uh, taking a choice in a decision when something comes. You make a decision. It's not about right and wrong, but it is about wisdom influencing your choices. Yeah? And this is where the salt of life has seasoned us. We went through experiences and yes, they've been challenges. Some people run from challenges, but the challenge is your experience to make it over. Why? Because this is life. We didn't come here to just be given information and not walk it out or create from it. No one can create without transforming, you know, transforming of the situation from, some people say from bad to good. So the salt comes up in our lives and the light shines like the candle on the hill, not um, covered because we went through experiences that have brought us to a place where the anointing in our life is saying, let your light shine, let the salt of your life show that you've been seasoned through the seasons of hardship, grief, anger, bitterness. And once you read Matthew five, you're gonna see uh, the whole understanding of what is being said there from this perspective, all right? So here's your affirmation for the day. It says worth the wait. It is worth the wait. Whatever you're going through, you turned on to this here YouTube 
and Instagram is worth the wait. Good afternoon, Libra lady. Good, good, good. I'm glad that you're uh, feeling it. So worth the wait. Is something or someone not moving forward as fast as you would like? This card is here to reassure you. Hold fast. Be patient. The best things in life are worth waiting for. And this reminds me of the fruit of the spirit. A lot of times when you go into this information, people are thinking religious. But the, the fruit of the spirit is where we transform the past into uh, the present of what we want or the future. If you want to be happy, then you be happy. You practice happiness. I advocate on that with my leadership program and those that I work with. Who can make you happy but you? And it is a process where we have happy spirit and we are devoted to creating that thought which is you know connected to the salt of the earth because your experience is will you be happy or will you be sad you know when you're going through trials and tribulations do you not know that it's not forever it is a process it is a process for what it's a process for the next part of you to rise because none of us are the same as we were 10 years ago 15 years ago so either salt has um savored us and flavored us and seasoned us and brought us into an anointing or is still bringing us into an anointing what is an anointing where you are able to bring yourself into liberty and then you are able to teach others about liberty that is a big discussion but it is the truth the anointing destroys the yoke of the enemy and a lot of times the enemy has been us we didn't we didn't see how we were holding ourselves back through fear and worry and that's where Galatians 5 and 19 comes in and explains to us who the enemy really is. I can't look at my brother when I've not looked at myself. You see, I can't look at my sister and blame them when I haven't looked at maybe we're in this here uh, community together because we are thinking the same. Maybe our thinking has to change, you know, and that's the truth. But it's up to us to find that understanding within ourselves and stop looking outside but look into the heart. So you guys, thank you for coming on. I definitely would be on tomorrow. I have been uh, recovering. Um, I had some symptoms, symptoms I've said from COVID, but I'm pushing on because I believe in life and I believe in the resurrection power. And so don't you, thank you Libra lady for coming on. God bless everybody uh, that tunes in. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.